Hey everybody, Animal Man here and Shannon. And today, today we're going to work on our epic lasagna garden. We're going to make the first bed stay with us. So the purpose of the cardboard guys is to uh, block out the weeds and grass coming through into the garden to help maintain moisture and also to add kind of layers of, of mass and compost to start breaking down this bed that way the, uh, the plants can use the nutrients. So we're going to do cardboard and then a green layer of grass clippings from what I mowed, then a layer of uh, a brown layer of leaves, then we're going to use some compost and then we may do it all over again and put down some newspaper and then grass clippings, leaves, and then top it off with topsoil. That's the plan, I think, right, Shan? But we will see. That's the plan, Stan, but we will see. It's the plan, Animal Man. That's right. Hey, I like that. <laughs> Don't go slow for me. What? I thought you were going slow for me. No. Got a caterpillar over here. That looks really good. So we're going to wet this down guys and then we're going to add our brown layer which is just going to be leaves. Whoa. You, got here just, <laughs> you got here just in time for me to almost be done. Hey, someone's got a man with the old clip. Schooled in the use of wheelbarrow in the in the art of wheelbarrow Wheelbarrow Alright, I'm just gonna wet these leaves down now too. When he says I, he means me. Hey. <laughs> How thick does this compost layer have to be? Not gonna be that thick. Oh, violation. At this rate, we're not going to have enough. We're going to have enough just for like this and one more bed probably and then have to get some more. I don't even know if we're going to have enough for another bed. Oh, man. Truthfully speaking. Shannon's like a cat. She's like chasing the butterfly. You gonna bat him around when you catch him? Uh-uh. I just want him to land on me. That's what I used to do with squirrel. We used to like stand at the base of the tree and be like, come on down. Where'd he go? <laughs> Dude, we have a garden. Almost. Not, hey, I'm in the camera. Don't you dare. Compost. It does. Yeah. All right. You know why that is, right? Because we just put compost. <laughs>
<laughs> he slipped up a trigger on purpose, sorry. My turn with the hose. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're wearing like quick dry materials. You see the rainbow? I'd like to eat some Skittles and taste the rainbow. So you get. Okay guys, so while Shannon's working on the rest of these beds, I'm going to work on an irrigation system. So what I've got here is I'm using these miracle Grow soaker hoses, which I love. I use these in my fruit forest too. And I've got some leftover components from working on the fruit forest here on the ground, which I'm going to use first. But this is what I use. That's the system I use. And I've got half inch PVC pipes and all the different fittings. I'm going to need T fittings. I'm going to need 90 degree elbow fittings maybe some couplers and then I've got these adapters here these are what connects the PVC to the soaker hose system so this takes half inch pipe on one end and you glue it in with PVC cement and then it's threaded for a three quarter inch standard hose and uh, these are the things that will screw onto here and then the uh, the soaker hose gets shoved in the end of this so that's how all this is going to work together and then you've got the ends for the for the soaker hoses. When you're done, you pop one of these caps on the ends. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run it along the inside of the pallets, like right along the base here. And for each of these slices, each of these like little pizza slices, I'm going to have one of these soaker hoses hook up to it. And you'll see what I mean later on. Shannon's making awesome progress on the bed here. Looks great, babe. All we need is the irrigation hose and some topsoil, right? Yes, sir. Awesome. Woo. Who won? Me. <laughs> what you doing there, Matt? PVC piping. <laughs> this is the last PVC connection aside from the parts I'm missing. <laughs> That'll have to be tomorrow. So this is our last Bing. soaker hose uh, drop. I don't know. Offshoot. Yeah. Boom. Bam. Bam. All right. Hurry up! You're gonna miss it. Here it comes. It's a lot of dirt, dude. So now we're just going to connect our soaker hose this little pizza slice of our garden guys so what we've got here is a razor to cut the hose sectional lift over hose I had and um, connector piece that goes to here and then an end cap for the hose so I'm gonna start to connect this up I'm gonna just you just kind of shove it on you gotta wiggle it a little bit wiggle it just a little bit I'm gonna go grab Shannon so we can lay this out the right way What's the matter? <laughs> Not camera ready. So we need to lay this out in a way that's going to irrigate the garden. Evenly. Semi-evenly. So we can either do a squiggle, which might waste hose, or we can just go like straight down, curve it, go straight down that end, and then like curve it in and go down the middle. What do you think? I think I like the up and down. No. <laughs> All right, guys, so here's like the formation we decided on to do it as evenly as possible without wasting hose. So it kind of just comes down, curves around the outside there, and then back down the middle, and we're going to cap it. So I'm going to unravel this, measure it, 
and then cut the same length of hose for each section that way they're all going to be ready to go. Tight fit. I almost took out the fence. <laughs> so did you. <laughs> you almost snorted, didn't you? I totally did snort. <laughs> You have three inches of top soil down all the way across the bed. Shannon just raked it out. And it looks pretty darn good. I'm happy with it. You happy? <laughs> awesome. So one bed's like ready for planting. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's not that bad. How did I get so clean? How am I dirty? How right did now? I? It's a miracle. Slacker. When's that ever happen? 